Hello and welcome to FPGA project number two. In this project we are going to implement a 2 to 1 multiplexer to LEDs. The project is split in two parts. Part one. We are going to design a Verilog parameterizable 2 to 1 multiplexer with two n-bit input ports and one bit select. n has a default value of 4. Next we are going to create a Verilog test bench and after this we are going to do a model sim project and a simulation. A multiplexer works in the following manner. Let's say we have these two inputs and one select. When select equals 0 then the value of A will be driven to Y. Otherwise if select equals 1 then B will be driven to Y. It works exactly the same as your light switch. Let's analyze now how we are going to connect this project with our FPGA. We are going to use 1 bit for the select and two 4 bit buses for A and B. Depending on the value of select, you are going to see on the LEDs the values of the switch buses for A and B. In the second part of the project, we are going to create a Quartus project next synthesize our Verilog module and connect the design to the FPGA pins. After the synthesis process is done, we are going to program the DE1 SOC board that has an Altera Cyclone 5 FPGA. This is what we are going to see when we implement the project on our FPGA board. When cell equals 0, then you will see on the LEDs the value driven from the switches from the bus A. Otherwise, if cell equals 1, you will see on the LEDs the value on the switch bus B. Pretty simple, right? Please remember that this project can be replicated on any Altera board depending on your number of switches and number of LEDs. Even if you don't have a board, you can watch at this project and gain precious knowledge about FPGA design and verification. And now it's action time! Let's implement a 2 to 1 multiplexer. Please make a new file called max2leds.v with the following content. Here we declare the module name. After this we have the parameters list. And next we have the inputs and the output ports. All the inputs and the outputs are parameterized with n. To describe multiplexer in Verilog you can use simply a continuous assignment. So y will equal b if i cell is 1 otherwise it will equal a. So if i cell is 0, y gets the value of a, otherwise gets the value of b. I hope that this explanation makes very clear for you how the conditional operator works. Let's now implement a test bench for our design. Please make a new file called tbmux 2 ledsv with the following content. We first declare the time scale of 1 microsecond divided by 1 nanosecond and after this we have the name of the test bench. Next we declare the test bench variables. We use the rec type for the inputs and the wire type for the outputs. After this we instantiate the module and connect its ports with our test bench variables. So the inputs are connected with the reg type variables and the outputs are connected with the wire type variables. Next we have our test scenario. We use dollar monitor to monitor the changes on A, B, cell and Y whenever they occur. Next after one microsecond we initialize all the values with zero and the B bus gets the inverted value of A. After this we use a for loop to repeat the same scenario. After one microsecond, we toggle the value of cell and A and B get some random values. We will see this how it behaves on the waveform. Let's create now our models in project. First we need to do a folder called multiplexer to LEDs and after this three subfolders RTL, SIM and SYNTH. In RTL we have our Verilog code for the design and for the test bench. 
In Sim, we are going to create our model sim project. Let's open model sim now. Press file, change directory, select folder. Yes. Now we create the new project. We browse the Verilog files. We compile them. You see they are compiled successfully. And now we start the simulation. Let's add the signals to the waveform. And now press run all. Click on the waveform and then press on zoom full. So let's analyze now what our test bench does. You can see how cell toggles at each microsecond. When it is zero, Y should get the value of A, or when it is one, Y should get the value of B. So here you can see that Y is zero. Next, it happened uh, that A and B are equal even though they are random. So th this happens sometimes, it's not an issue, but as you can see, the value changes after this. Next, here it selects the value of B, here the value of A again, and so on. So this is how a multiplexer works. It is a very simple circuit that switches the value of the output according to the select bus. The same results that are in the wave can also be observed over here in the console. This is it. Let's now start the part 2 where we implement our circuit in the FPGA. If you like this tutorial and you are interested in an easy path for learning Verilog for FPGA or ASIC design and verification, I gladly recommend you my course Verilog HDL Fundamentals for Digital Design and Verification. You can find the link in the video description. For more tutorials and support, you can join our Facebook community. Your strong Verilog foundation is only one click away.